Hey guys, how's it going? Justin here. CTX is getting a brake chain from Brake Chains. I've got a semi-metallic, semi-metal ceramic pads. It's a mix of both the uh, metallic and ceramic pads, so I'm hoping to get a... Uh, supposed to be very nice on the uh, high braking power. They're supposed to be durable, less um, uh, brake dust, according to what I've read. Um, and it's supposed to be a lot more quiet, because metallic brakes are just a pain in the butt with noise. They squeak. No matter what you do, I'm not a fan, so hopefully these look better. Um, nothing in grease. As far as I know, I think you need thread locker blue for these two bolts. So I got it just in case, you know. We're working with a 12 millimeter for these. And for the actual bolt that holds the brake pads in place, it is a 8 millimeter. So, here. Let's jump right in. Let's go. Start off by removing the uh, retaining bolt, I believe it's called, proper word for it. It might be best to get these two bolts off first, then get this one. It's holding the, uh, the uh, pads in themselves. This appears to be Threadlocker Brown, which I'm not familiar with the scale of uh, Threadlockers, but I believe that's for non-removable. I got blue, so hopefully that's okay. We'll, we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna slide it off. Maybe. Okay, right, so here it is. Pads go, obviously how pads go, up into here where it clips into place. I believe it's the uh, pistons compressed through this part. We've got, this bolt is not one to come out. I don't think there's any more threads, so I'm just gonna keep trying to pull on it. You might run into the same problem, we'll see. Okay, this bolt was held in with a lot of friction. I don't know why it was so tight, but it was. I had to just pull pull it out. It appears to have some sort of, don't wanna call it an O-ring. It doesn't feel like rubber or like it ever was rubber, but that was at the end. If you take a gander inside there, it's gonna need some cleaning. I see lots of, uh, appears to be cobwebs. Nice. Safety glasses. Brake cleaner and a rag. Okay, a lot cleaner, a lot more shiny. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and get the new brake pads out compare them and get them ready for installation. New brake pads compared to old brake pad. Thickness. Go this way. Yeah, these were pretty low, I'd say. Before I forget, the back of, I believe the exterior, this was the exterior one. The exterior has a plate in the back you have to remove. I believe it just pops off, maybe. I got the rear plate portion off. It's a two sheet, this a few, not sure what this is made out of. It feels like a hard plastic of some sort. And it goes into here, and then this clips onto the back of the of this direction, which I think is the outside brake pad. Yeah. 
just kind of clips on. Now the fun part of compressing the pistons. What I do is I take the two brake pads, I put them in there, how they're supposed to go, and then I put a, uh, I normally put a uh, flat head in between and push to separate the uh, separate them and to compress. I normally use two flat heads, but I only have these two, so we'll give this a whirl. Okay, it only took 30 minutes of compressing to get it to hopefully be the right size. We're gonna see. Okay. Other side. Ah, look at that gap. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna put the pin in after I put grease. Don't forget the grease, grease is important. Put the grease on the back and all the contact points and then I will bolt it back up, bolt it on, and give it the squeeze of truth. Okay, I'll put the grease on this box so I don't get it everywhere. Okay, so my general rule of thumb is the contact points there and the back, so. Carefully slide them in. Wrong way. There's one. Number two. And then this portion moves up and down, as you can see. And I'm not sure if it's, I don't think it's supposed to be kind of like automatic, you could say, as the brakes compress, this goes to the right spot. So I'll get them in place, bolt them in down, and then let the uh, brakes themselves get, get fine tuned. Yeah. Okay, so this, the top brake pad needs to stay in place to get the bolt in the way the bolt is designed, but it will not go into the proper place in the first place. It just keeps getting shifted down. I think that's it. Okay, now the bottom one. Now the bottom one won't go in. Doggone it. So yeah, it's gonna be a game of keeping everything in place. It takes a lot of nudging to get it all in the right spot and for the bolt to slide all the way through. I'm not quite sure why, if that's the design or if that is just a common failure point. Okay, just wanna get it in and on. Okay, hey, slid on. All right, it's on. Let's bolt it on and see. OK, 
Okay, my last test is to be able to squeeze the brake and make sure it compresses and it looks like it compresses evenly and it doesn't do anything explosive. So at first the uh, brake lever didn't feel like it had any pressure, but then it slowly started biting again and it feels, feels good. Now give it the stop test. Well, that went mostly well. It was only slightly a pain in the butt. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope it was able to help you out if you're having the same problems as I am, if you're trying to figure out how to do your uh, brake pads on the front. Hope you all take it easy. I will see you later. Bye.